This video will show you how to divide your Musa Basjou or banana plant pups. If you're growing these bananas, you'll notice young bananas growing from the base, and these are called pups. This is a mechanism to help the plant survive because after flowering, the main banana plant will die and all of these young banana pups will grow away and replace it. However, we want to divide the plant so we have as many new banana plants as possible and you can plant them wherever you like in the garden. This pup was also attached to the plant I've just shown you. This Musa Bastu has been split and potted on and we'll let it establish in the new pot before we plant it out. But I'm about to talk you through how I'm going to separate the last pup from this banana plant. I'd recommend using a spade, a sharp knife, don't get in trouble with using one for the kitchen, and a garden trowel. Then you're good to go. First, use your sharp knife to divide the banana pup from the main plant. You'll drive it into the ground, trying to get as many roots on the pup side as possible. While attached, the pup banana plant will be getting food from the parent, but when you separate it, it needs to be able to absorb its own water. So getting as many roots as possible attached is key. Be sure to split the banana plant from the main plant as much as you can below the soil before using your spade. Then gently tease the banana pup out of the soil with the spade, trying to get as far underneath the plant as possible so that you don't cut too many roots. There's no rush at all. Take your time as you don't want to damage any of the plants you're working with. Just keep giving the spade a little wiggle and you'll hear the moment the banana pup splits from the main plant. Next, I'll put the spade between the pup and the main plant in the cut that I made with the knife. This will give me a bit of leverage just to separate the banana plants and I can feel that's helped to separate it. So first we've got this tiny banana pup. It's only got one root so it might not survive but we'll pot it up and see. But it was the bigger pup that we were after and as I tease it out you can see we've managed to get a good root system on this plant. So we'll pot it up next before we plant it out into the garden and this should be a good healthy new banana plant. I'm just using multi-purpose compost to pot it up in a standard terracotta pot. It won't need to live in a greenhouse while it's summer because it's plenty warm enough outside and we don't want the soil to dry out. Because it doesn't have a lot of roots at the moment, you need to make sure you keep the pot well watered. And be sure to firm in the soil around the new roots because you don't want the plant tipping over. With that stage done, it's just time to give the plant a drink. I'm really going to soak all of the soil in the pot. It will help the soil settle around the roots and it will also give the plant a nice good drink. And I think I'm going to water it every day through the summer just to make sure it doesn't dry out. But come winter, that watering can slow right down. And there you go. That's how you get free banana plants by splitting your banana pups. And it's opened up loads of room around the parent plant for it to grow away and get those enormous jungly leaves. And from this one banana plant, I managed to get one, two, three large pups split and potted up. We've got a couple that separated but didn't have great roots on them, but we'll pot them up and experiment and see if they grow away. This one may have a chance because it's a lot smaller, but we've got a larger pup that only has this one root and it really won't have enough roots to absorb enough water to feed all of these large leaves. So chances are this will die. So it's really important to make sure you get a good root system on your new separated banana plants. So there you go. If you've got a banana plant in your garden surrounded by pups, have a go at splitting them and see how many free plants you can get. For more information on tropical gardening, check out the Tiny Tropical Garden website and hit subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.